Good morning. Driving while demolishing, but no demolishing music. Okay? I'm still ranting. There's a lot to rant about. And the reason there's a lot to rant about is I have... My eyes have been opened. And ever since I became red-pilled, um, there's a lot to rant about. But one of the things I really want to rant about on this particular one is the media itself and Hollywood itself. Hollywood saw no, nothing wrong with going after, and you know they went after him. They went after him. Mark Burnett went after him. Mark Burnett is the same guy that does The Bachelor. He also did uh, The Apprentice. He's a friend of uh, our president. Okay. But I'm going to tell you, he did something wrong. It was as if all morals, all ethics went out the window. He went after somebody, went after an artist. And this artist has an extremely high sense of family, nationality, values, morals. He is how every single normal American wishes their child to be, uh, to grown up. And he's a Muslim child. Okay? All right. Um, growing, uh, spending six years in Indonesia, I got to see what real Muslims acted like. Okay? Not the radicals that we see today. Their sense of family is strong. It's kind of like an Italian sense of family or a Mexican sense of family or just Latinos. I've, um, I have had a girlfriend one time from Argentina. I went to see her family. Their sense of family is so strong. Latinos, Asians, sense of family, very strong. I spent time in Korea. I spent time in uh, um, Indonesia, Singapore. I went to Malaysia. Their sense of family, strong. Philippines, and all those places. Yes, I am a well-traveled man. Where I did not see the sense of family that was strong was in Europe. Isn't that amazing? I spent uh, two years in the Netherlands, and I didn't see that tight unity. Okay? I'm not saying they didn't love their kids, but there's a sense of family I'm talking about. Um that it lacked. Um, and it starts with your ethics, your sense of morality. That sense of morality comes from your faith, whether it's Islam, whether it's Christianity, whether it's Judaism or Buddhism. What happens is that sense of morality teaches people right from wrong with their own customs and their own culture their own religious beliefs. It's kind of what makes America, oh, the world great, excuse me. Not America great, well, America great too because uh, we have all of those in one country. But it makes the, the world great and why I enjoyed in the past where each of these countries had their own sense of culture that uh, this whole th globalism thing is trying to destroy. People were, have tried to talk to me, because I've talked offline, obviously, and they're like, well, Dimash is a globalist. I said, is he? I said, I would say he's a straight-out nationalist. That man loves his country more than life itself. Okay? He loves his family. All right? Yep, yep, yep. He loves his family. His grandparents. Oh. Fucking hold on, you fucking cock. I'm in the left turn lane, jag off. That's why your car looks the way it does, you piece of shit. Go fuck off. Honk at me. 
fucking online. Oh, I'm live streaming and I can pay more attention than you do. Like I told you, I'm a different type of reactor. I'm a punch in the face type of reactor. I'm not gonna give you shit, okay? Now, he's a nationalist. And why, what made me turn onto him was not just his music. Sure, that grabbed me. That was the first thing that grabbed you. How could it not? First time I heard SOS, I was like, this is unbelievable. And then you start learning about it. And, and what I like about people who have really delved into uh, Dimash and his family, like uh, like Trey, Trant, um, he, he started to delve into the sense of family, okay? Of, um, of who Dimash is. And they've fallen in love with him. And it's not just because um, they give their channel a lot of views. If their channels didn't get any more views at all, they'd still love the mosh. Okay. And you can sense it. Um, and what we enjoy about the guy is that. He's got it here. You are not going to bust him up over a million bucks. First of all, he was a well-to-do kid to begin with. Both of his parents were professional entertainers. Okay? He came from money. Money doesn't impress him much. He had a lot of advantages other kids didn't have. He went to the best schools. Okay? He learned. But the difference is that Dimash never took advantage of anything. Or I, I'm sorry. Let me re rephrase that. He took what his parents give him as an advantage. And he just soaked it in like a sponge. He didn't sit on his ass expecting his parents to give him a credit card and a BMW and say, thanks, Ma. Yeah, thanks, man. Hey, can you take my SAT scores, too, and get me into Harvard? Thanks, man. I love you, Dad. That's a private... That's a, also a, another joke that few people will probably understand. Okay. So... I understand that the world order or the new world order is trying to create this whole entire globalism by having no borders. But the problem is that depletes culture and depletes a sense of who one is. If the Netherlands has no border with Belgium and Belgium has no uh, border with France and France has no border with Italy, it can all mishmash and and you start to let, lose that sense of culture and family and language. One of the reasons as a kid I wanted to visit Europe was every single one of those countries, small or big, was different. And it was kind of cool to me. Okay? This kid has so much moxie and I call him a kid because he's 24. He'll be 25 this year. He has so much moxie. You know that the woman that he's going to date is going to be a spectacular woman. Okay? She's going to have morals, ethics, beauty, brains. She's going to have it all. Okay? Okay? Be a lot of broken hearts out there with women that are gonna go, oh no. But you're also gonna be very happy. Some of the women call Dimash their prince because that's kind of what they wish their man or their man in their head would be like. Handsome, elegant, loves their family, loves children, is fantastic at what they do, has a sense of morality, belief system. what my, I would hope my kid would grow up grow up to be like. Right? Not because we want them to be a giant superstar. If you, that's what you think, you're missing the whole point of this, of the 
this uh, live support or this video. What we want, or what attracted us to Dimash, was more than his voice. Once we started to delve into it, it was who he was. It was everything that we were, have been trying to get rid of in our society. This Sabbatean behavior that's been taking over our, our world. But secretly, this is the kind of person we like. This is the kind of uh, person we want our children to strive to be like. Okay? Sabbatean behavior is not. I cry inside when I think of just how satanic our world has become and how people use identity politics, virtue signaling, and uh, no, they're always butthurt and use things like hate speech and whatnot. And all it is is to have control over people. That's all it is. Censorship. Look at how I got censored. 90 days I can't do a live stream. Really? Because I butt hurt somebody? Really? Yeah. And I wasn't even talking politics. I was like, damn! It was in politics I get longer than that. Before. <laughs> but boy, the, the little Twinkies got pissed, didn't they? And they went after me. Now, I could have done two things. I could have gotten pissed off about it. Or you live and learn by it. What can you do? What can't you do? On this medium and other mediums. There's other avenues. And there's other video streams that I will be able on uh, to get on. Once a place like YouTube folds from, from being broken up because they're a monopoly. It'll happen. People didn't think it would happen to, uh, to uh, Microsoft. It will happen. People, we need all voices. We even need the other side of me, the people that I don't like. We need those people too. You know? The world's a big place. We need those people too. I may not like them, but guess what? I don't have to listen to them. Right? That's the difference between me and those Twinkies. Those tw Twinkies come into my life and try to shut me down. See, my politics end at my front door. Their politics start at your front door. If you don't agree with them, they bully you until they use a little fascist techniques until they can shut you down. Okay? That's not how I like my politics. My politics end at my front door. What I do inside my house is my business. So, I very much I very much hope to to get a different type of streaming system that people will like. But I am I'm shocked and humbled that I'm getting thousands of views off of a simple DU recorder like this. I shouldn't be getting that. And I'm very thankful that people are listening to the message, listening to my voice, as opposed to how pretty it looks. Because it's ugly. It's ugly. Right? Right? Everyone knows it's my phone. Right? It's ugly. It doesn't look that professional. It looks very raw. But believe it or not, when I was doing this on Twitter, I did a lot of raw videos and live stream, and people, I was getting a fan base, a large fan base, and people couldn't understand why, including myself, okay? But I'm appreciative of that. I really am. So, I'm done ranting. I don't even know what I'm going to name this one. I'm still debating whether I should put this one up. Because this is me just ranting. Maybe I'll just call it Johnny B. Ranting.
<laughs> but peace out guys